Remember guys, don't try any of what you're about to see without the proper training or supervision. Hey guys, welcome to the Sports Lab with the science junkies, Greg and Hugh. We're here to give you an insight into our world and uncover all the science and tech that makes these sports so awesome. Today, we're on the streets of Cardiff to find out the science of free running. <laughs> You may know this as parkour or free running. Parkour is best described as the art of forward motion. It's all about getting from A to B in the smoothest way possible, kind of like water flowing fast over obstacles. It started over in France, and when it came to the UK, it morphed into something called free running. It's almost the same as parkour, but you're allowed to change direction and be a bit more creative with the moves. Now, what I'm interested in is how do these amazing athletes seemingly defy gravity, jump huge gaps, and not break any bones. Everyone knows that gravity pulls you to the ground. Yeah, and gravity is the same the world over. So free runners here in the UK fall exactly the same rates in Africa, America, Asia, everywhere. Check out these two free runners. One's a normal size and one's got loads of weight added to it. But if they do a somersault off this bridge... Three, two, one. They hit the ground at exactly the same time. But if gravity accelerates everything to the ground at the same rate, it's going to do the same to our free runners as it did to our action men. So how can these guys survive such a big jump? The cat leap or arm jump is used loads in free running as a way of getting from building to building or wall to wall. It's all about their technique that allows these guys to jump massive gaps and not fall and break anything. This is Freezer, top free runner, fellow long haired man, and generally nice guy. So, Freezer, what is a cat leap? A cat leap is it's kind of what you do if you couldn't jump the distance. So, instead, uh, like a cat or an animal, you're using all four limbs to you know, grab onto it. How do you make sure that you don't fall down the gap? Um, it's all about like the right trajectory and power when you take off. So obviously if um, the angle's wrong, you're going to go into it and fall or bounce yeah. back. And um, you need to make sure you put enough power in as well to reach it. All right, should we give it a go? Let's do it, man. All right. Yeah, there it is. That's how you do a cat leap. Jumping a 15-foot gap like that, free runners have to generate about 3,000 watts of power. And to put that into perspective, if you're out in the garden digging or helping your parents in the garage, that only generates about 75 watts of power. So to jump a gap that big could take up to 40 times as much power and a lot of practice. If you want to get down to the ground safely, a break roll is what you need to do. It's when a free runner rolls down his shoulder, just like that. I'm always amazed at how free runners can land jumps that would really damage most people, but walk away unharmed. Isaac Newton, physicist, mathematician, all round genius in science. He said that force is mass times acceleration. <laughs> so that means that the force you feel depends on the amount of stuff in your body, your mass, and how fast or slow you're speeding up or slowing down, your acceleration. A quick bit of math shows that if you jump from something three metres high, you'll actually be travelling 17 miles an hour when you hit the ground, which is pretty fast. Even though your bones are stronger than concrete and your knees can take over a tonne of force, a free runner can easily injure themselves. They need to control that force. An added brake roll lets him spread it out. He takes longer to slow down, so the force he feels is less. In fact, a brake roll can actually reduce the force by up to 60%. Right then guys, something for you lot to try at home, but please don't try this at height without a trained instructor. It can go horribly wrong. Right, Hugh's gonna show us a simple roll. He's gonna sit on his back foot, he's gonna extend his front foot, and he's gonna tuck his arm on the inside of his knee, and then he's just gonna roll forwards over his shoulder. Perfect roll. You gotta make sure you keep your head above the ground because that's the bit you're trying to save. That's how you do it. Let's see it again. Master that, and you're ready to roll. 
That's a terrible line. That is a terrible line. I apologise. So try it out for yourself. Look up your local free running group, but make sure you always do it in a safe environment. Free running is an awesome sport, and the best thing is, over the last few hundred years, people have built the playground for us. And all you need is a pair of trainers, the right knowledge, and a whole lot of practice. So head out there and find out the science behind your favourite sports, and come join the Science Junkies next time on the Sports Lab. <laughs>